Hello, everyone. I guess we are live. I'm a bit excited to be for what I'm creating. So it's not a true create on the fly because um, I did this card. Let me fix something here. It's bugging me. Um, one minute. I just adjust something and... Okay, so um, if you're part of the team, don't run away because I crank it up a notch. Um, team, the first Tuesday of the month, it's the team meeting. And I say a team meeting is just to get in the, whatever, get the scoop. And then we do a presentation. Well, this month I was doing the presentation and I do the challenge with the team. I send them paper, they make a card and so on. If you follow me on my blog, you see all those beautiful creation. Well, last month it was the joyful paper and I picked two cards and I did, I recreate their card. The one that I'm doing tonight, it was inspired by Cynthia from Texas. So I'm going to do that, but tonight I'm going to crank it up a notch. We're going to put, so I'm doing two cards again. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to put a gift card holder in it. And then Stephanie in our team, after I was done with the meeting, she recreated the card and she did something at the front that got really my attention. And we're going to do that also. So it's going to be fun. I put the measurement in the description okay but the reason why i say at the beginning if you get um uh paper and pen that's going to be even better so then you can add a little bit i will blog about this but i'm going to be honest i'm done my blogging for november so it's going to go in december so here we go so shall we get started we get some new online exclusive product that it's um, get released this week. I am using the paper Mandarin. Uh, I get the name for me. I get a tough time saying it. It's Mandarin Meadow. <coughs> Excuse me, but it's a lot more. You get stamp set, you get ribbon, you get embellishment and so on. So um, when you go shopping at FrenchyStamps.com, at the top there on the left-hand side, it's not the loser, it's on the left-hand side, click online exclusive. And then the online exclusive, you can see everything that it's not in the catalog. It's You're going to see also the kids there and so on. And the newest at the top where you can switch it also. Okay, so let's get going. I'm excited for this. Now, put your sunshade, right? I bet when you saw that, some of you saw, I took a picture of that and put it on Facebook and say, hey, join us for the fun Create on the Fly. I bet you thought, oh my goodness, where is she going with that? Well, let me tell you, it's uh, flashy, but it's a good flashy. You don't have to write this number. This card been gone for a long time. It was a gift card. Uh, it's not good anymore, my friends. So even if you type all the numbers, uh, it's going to bounce. You will not be able to shop with it, okay? I like to keep those cards. That's way back in like 2012 when stamping up when we were reaching certain milestone or so on. We were getting a gift card. I miss that per Miss it, miss it, miss it. So here we go. The new paper, it's beautiful scenery. And if you know me a little bit, that's my type of paper. And not only my type of paper, but it's quick, it's easy. I'm a plain Jane girl, okay? Very plain and I love the outdoor, I love the scenery. So for me that it's screaming at me. Um, on the side and the back, it's more flower or it's a little, well, wood here. It's not really like plaid or so on. You get some plain one, well, plain a little bit like a texture, I'm going to say, but um, I call that the back side. It's nothing that say the front and the back. It don't have a tag and like your clothes. I just call the beautiful scenery the front, okay? So um, this was released Tuesday. Um, how long it's going to last, that's um, 
question we don't know. This is one I think maybe it's going to be a little bit like the fall paper, sell quick, but then they're going to order more. I don't know, okay? I really don't know. But it is beautiful. Okay. Now it's not going back in the paper, but it's not important because I know I'm going to use it. Let me share. I know I shared those cards uh, the other day, but see, this is uh, show you all that. That's coming up on my blog, I think, next week. It is um, easy to use the full sheet and so on. And that, again, that was from um, the team inspiration from... Um, one that we did with the one horse open sleigh, but I used this paper. I had demoed that also. Not this month, but last month. See? Okay, so why I come I get all that? As a demonstrator, we get the chance to pre-order in advance. Okay. So we're gonna start. I need my measurement though for tonight. Because like I said. It's not a true through create on the fly, but a little bit because I'm going to add on and so on. So your card base, you want to cut it on the long way. So it's a regular piece of card stock and it's measured eight and a half by 11. We're going to cut it on the short there. We're going to go on the long at four and one quarter. That's weird. Oh, it was not a full sheet I had. I'm like, what the hee-haw? Okay. Now, we're going to take this, flip it here, and we're going to go at nine and a half. Nine and a half. So we're going to have nine and a half by four and a quarter. Again, I put the measurement in the description, but I think if you take note, it's going to be a lot easier till I blog about it. Now I'm going to score at one inch. I like to score the one inch there and make it easier. Then I'm going to flip it really this way. I get one. Now I'm going to go at two. It's easy. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Boom. Done. That's it. Now we gonna oh, might as well do all our cutting and then go jiggy with it now our designer series paper for this one the first one we're gonna do it's uh we're gonna cut it the bottom i just want a little strip there two and three quarters so i'm gonna go at two and three quarter here because i want the bottom because that's going to be my front two and three quarter and I'm going to flip it and I'm going to cut that at four wrong it is wrong it is wrong it is wrong just because I want the oh it's okay I can cut that it won't matter I'm going to cut that at two and three quarter but it's not four, okay? It's, I, I mean, not. Two and three quarter. And it's not two and three quarter. Uh, two and a half, I mean. Two and three. I want two and a half. Okay. Let's back up the bus here, okay? What you want for the first piece, it measure three and three quarter by two and a half so two and a half by three and three quarter that's top now this piece here i wanted to have just the right thing but it won't matter because i got another layer so that's why i'm like i'm good this one here gonna be uh the length of it four and a half so let's go at four and a half by three and one quarter oh it's perfect it's a good thing i well it's this that would be left over okay so it is four and a half by three and a quarter now we're going to do layers, and I am using a daffodil. 
my card base it's um blue uh bushel blue okay blueberry bushel blueberry bushel now you can use the same color all the other one that i did was the same color or gold whatever but i wanted something flashy i just wanted you to fall off your chair tonight okay okay now we're gonna start by five and a quarter five and one quarter five and one quarter flip this by four the next one it is four and three quarter that's in the direction in the measurement below that's the one i put for okay four and three quarter by three and a half now the next one i need four by two and three quarter okay now we get our measurement. Now we're going to take this here that we score at one, two, three, four. Okay. This was nine and a half by four and a quarter. Now, what we want to do, I can do that without this. I like to use a pencil in case I have to erase. And you know what? I'm going to put you a little bit brighter here. How about that? Let me put you a little bit brighter. Lie. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, we're going to start at the edge here. And this one here, we're going to make a mark. At the score there at one uh, inch we're going to make a mark at one and a half one and a half now the next one the next score going to be three quarter three quarter and then the next one three quarter okay so it's one and a half three quarter three quarter easy to remember three quarter plus three quarter equal one and a half here we go. Your math lesson for the night. Now, you can uh, take uh, the paper cutter and try to align that, whatever. Even if it's not just straight, you are okay. I cut this straight here to the first line. That was at one and a half. Now you're going to go diagonal to this line flip it straight to your other line now you're going to go diagonal to over here this is what you get so another word this is what we do, just done here okay so it is nine and a half by four and a quarter the whole thing you score at one two three four I'm going to flip this here and see you mark it here at one and a half, three quarter, three quarter, and that's how you're going to cut that. How about that? Now, let me give you a trick though. If you do more than one of this card, don't waste your time measuring everything. Save this here. And after you score one, two, three, four, you're going to take this make your mark make your mark make your mark and then cut it so this year after you've done that once you're just going to measure it once use that for your pattern to mark okay now oh i miss a piece of white the white here for this layer it's going to measure three and three quarter by five three and three quarter by five and that's going to be we're going to start at the back layer here so i need some glue and we're going to put that here 
and I could um, whoever gonna win this you can use it for whatever card so it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna keep it kind of plain inside so you can write whatever mm. no we're gonna keep it plain now the next layer okay I'm gonna repeat the the thing so the layer so the the bottom here this one here it's three and a half by four and three quarter three and a half by four and three quarter and this one's going to be three and, and a quarter by four and a half so you just decrease a quarter again you get the measurement in the description now this here you want to close it and we're going to glue that right here so you close the first tab okay and the trick when it comes to um any time of fun fold or so on you want to reinforce your score now i'm going to take glue just on the edge there and right here now what make sure it don't go on the side because when you close that it would stay shut now the bottom gonna go with the bottom, 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 bottom together. So just align the bottom. Now make sure this with the score, you get the gap, you know, you can close it. Et voila. So now you know where we're going, right? Terry, I'm gonna crank it up a notch tonight. I don't know if you were here at the beginning. The next one's gonna be with the gift card. Now for the top, this is gonna be, so this one here, it's two and three quarter by four, and this one two and a half by three and three quarter. And this is called a casketing a card. Oh, oh, don't do what I do. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Don't put the glue all over because we don't. If you put the glue all over, your card won't open, okay? That would be good since somebody to try to make them open the card with its glue shut, right? Just at the edge. And then you're gonna close this. So on the front here, you're gonna put your glue there. And again, you're gonna match this to the bottom. To the bottom, the bottom, the bottom. Et voila, you get your casket, casket see i get a piece of glue there none of that here i go so see you get your casket aid card and it fit in a regular envelope now we're going to do a greeting there um you bet go to greeting again well did i brought it in i'm missing but i cannot lose that stamp set it won't be the same without that I got it. So I'm going to do the same. Uh, I'm going to do the same greeting that I did last week, the week before. I'm going to do this till you're tired of it. Uh, I was on the kick for a long time doing um, with circle. My next card going to be with circle. But this, I just absolutely love this. So this is blueberry bushel. I'm gonna put thinking of you. And the reason why I use a lot of thinking of you, the one that's gonna win the card, gonna be able to use it for whatever she needed. If it's a sympathy card, if it's a, a birthday card, uh, just a thank you card, thinking of you just because, uh, that go for all of it, okay? Okay, and yes, this was again, go to greeting now i'm gonna go ahead and cut that here and we're gonna cut that here that's about right and this one so you see it's not really measurement when it comes to those things just gonna cut that there okay so we will Take our scissors, cut diagonal, and cut diagonal the other way. And you get this. 
I think it's too long at the bottom. And I'm going to fix that up. Et voilà. And then this one here. Come back here. Oh, that was not this one. It must have been this one. You know what we're going to do? It's going to make it easier. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put that right there. And this is the beauty of the, I say the new um, paper cutter. This paper cutter been here for a few years. But before, remember, we had to have a post-it note so the paper won't move and so on, so on. This one, you just put your finger right here. See, it's kind of lift and go down. Put your finger there, cut, and your paper don't shift. It is lovely. I absolutely love this paper trimmer. You need one? Go right below. You get the direct link to go shop with me. I mean, seriously, it is an awesome paper trimmer. And I just cut that. See, no measurement. So now this here, I'm going to put that right here. So uh, that's different from the other one, but it's all good. So now we're going to crank it up a notch. And we I'm going to share with you how to do this, but adding um, a gift card, okay? So let's crank it up a notch. See, when I put that grading on top here, I'm going to put it there. It cover all those. Et voila. See how it changed completely. And then when I open it up, you can always put stamp something here. I have a white. You can write something there. You can write something here. here. So that's one of them. Very simple, but very lovely. Now. I pre-started the one that we're going to do with the gift card, okay? So it's the same thing. You see uh, this here, it's the same thing. I pre-done that, the same size. Now for the back, I use the foil, and then it's going to be a Christmas one. So this step here, that's the foil. And some of you think that, oh, I can... Uh, punch something like I had a video just like last week I think out safe you know you can do punch and that well on this card this layer you could but the next one you can't so this here it's the same than the other card okay the same measurement and in the description it give the foil hey see you can see me in there hello is a foil it's so tough to video okay back at it um the foil here, this, well, back here, the foil, it's uh, four by five and a quarter. The white is um, three and three quarter by five. Now, the next one, the foil, it's three and a half by four and three quarter. And the designer syrup paper, this one, it's um, Joy of Christmas, Joy of Christmas. And I got the supplies listed below too. This one here, measure three and a quarter by four and a half now for this one you're going to need two of them okay you will need two of this one the three and th um, three and a quarter by four and a half you need two and you're going to understand in a minute now the top layer it is uh the foil it's two and three uh four by two and three quarter and the joyful it is um two and a half by three and three quarter now we're going to crank it up another notch and this i was inspired by stephanie a teammate that after we done the meeting this week she did the card that i did at the meeting you're going to see it in a minute well here it is and she did she cranked it up a notch, and I'm going to share with you what uh, she did. So here, that's another one, just like the one that I shared earlier. But this one's going to be quite a bit different. Well, quite a bit different. We're going to add the gift card and watch this here. So I just want to add a piece of ribbon. And this ribbon, it's part of the online exclusive also. It's called the Real Red and Gold, okay? 
Now, I'm going to, I think it's better if I get my silicone sheet just because I don't want to glue my table. I'm going to put a lot of glue in the bag, okay? If you ran out of glue, don't worry. I sell some so you can just come and place an order, see? Now, I think it's going to be easier if I put quite a bit of glue on this. I'm going to put that there. So the one, uh, I know I got team member here. You guys, if you saw Stephanie, that the card she shared after the meeting, and if you missed the meeting, well, that was just one of the, the share. I did two. Okay, here, I'm going to try to put that a little bit straighter there. It don't matter, though. Now, the next one, I need to go this way. And... Now, I bet you know where I'm going with that, right? See, we're wrapping a gift. Okay, I said we're going to go with it. I cannot go with it. I need to straight that up a bit. It's just fucking good. I wanted to say a word that I shouldn't see live. So it's bugging me, okay? Okay, that's more straight. Now, we're going to put this one. I don't want it to bulk, so I don't want to overlap. I don't want them to bulk. Oh, see, I'm still quick it. Like I told Granite, he got a quick it mouth. Oh, that boy does have a quick it mouth. Ooh -hoo. Okay, come here. AC, I glue that good. Okay, let's try to go straight here. Here we go. That's straight enough, okay? Now, from that, we're going to glue on this piece here. So I always like to reinforce my um, ribbon in the back. So, Stephanie, I don't know if you're uh, live tonight. A lot of times she's here. Thank you, thank you. I really like the look of this. Now, glue that tight. Now, just to make sure that the bow don't go to go for a ride in the mail, you know, you're going to take, because just because I cannot do a card without my, my duct tape, right? You're going to go under both layer there, glue that there, and then I'm going to go and do this layer right here. Put that there. So then I know my uh, paper won't move. Now, here's a trick. You have some bow challenge in the house tonight. This one is very challenging. The reason why I say, because if I do a bow, just like a regular bow, you see I get the polka dot and then the stripe there. Oh, it don't work, right? So when it comes to a ribbon that it's different on both sides, you want to keep the same side, it's best, well, for me, it is best that I do a bunny bow. Bunny bow, I don't cut my ribbon. Most of the time, I don't cut my ribbon for any bow, but this one, it, it's just safe. You're going to fold it in two, and you're going to fold it in two. See, you get some bunny here. That's why it's called a bunny here. Now you're going to take this, go around and under, and tie this up. And then this one's going to be too big. Okay, I, I got too much ribbon, but I'm not starting over. i just going to feed the trash a little bit. That's it. I, I like to have more than not enough when it comes to a uh, bow because I know my friend Ollie like to do bow with very little ribbon. I don't. So now the only thing here, you're going to see, see, it's twisting, right? So again, we're going to need our duct tape and that's going to fix it no problem. So I want to see about how, I want a small bow. I don't want a too big neater. And see, I can have a little bit bigger, I think. One minute. 
So if you want bigger, pull on the loop. One side pull and the other side don't. I mean, one the top or the bottom pull, pull and the other one don't pull. So if you pull and you say, uh, sorry, it's not working, just go pull on the other one. Like this, don't pull. I'm going to go to the top and it pull. Oh, no, it's the bottom. Here we go. Now we're going to take a one, two, three, whatever, how many glue dot. See, Scott, you know, I cannot do a card without blue dot. That, that's my, my mark. I mean, if you get a card and don't have no blue dot on it, and I tried to say I made it, mm, it's a good chance it's not. Here we go. Now, you see, this don't go good, right? So, this one, I like to take the glue dot on my scissors. Now, I can flip this, put it there. back here so don't you think it would be nice if we can do that with our muffin top our little roll around the waist you know tuck it put the glue dot oh i'm waiting for somebody to invent the big duct tape then i'm doing another one there and i'm gonna flip this also oh my 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 we got what i call the perfect bowl isn't it? Now, what we're going to do is do the trimming after, like this. Oh, just a little bit shorter there. Voila. You know what? I had a little bit too much, but not that much, because you want to have, you know, the chance to work with that. Okay. And so don't run away, because this is not done. If you think this is done, you didn't even see where I'm going to put the gift card yet. So this one here, flip this upside down. And here you see the reason why I say you cannot cut something out of this layer because this is exposed. Except on this one, we're going to put another piece there you could. But this one here, the foil, you know, like the video I did, I said punch something or die cut something. This one would not work because then it would show. So you can write in the bag there. You can stamp stuff in the bag there. Absolutely. So, okay, we get this. Now fold that. We're going to put this here. How beautiful that is. I think that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Cynthia, for sharing this. And now I'm going to do the Frenchie's touch. You know, I like to have my own little touch. Okay. I told you tonight's going to be, you didn't want to miss. Okay. Now, remember this one, I told you we needed two of the same size. Now we're going to flip it this now we're going to glue this completely. It was many way. I could have put um, an opening here to slide the card. I did many cards like that, and I decided to go completely different. Just because I didn't want to get a die out, pretty much put it that way. Okay, now that we got this, I use a real red because this is real red. Now this here, I want to say that it's not the measurement. It's not marked because it's an add-on after, you know. It's aftermarket. Put it that way. It is four and a half by one and a half. Four and a half by one and a half. I just thought of something. Nope. I get my circle. One and a half by four and a half. Now. Don't put glue there, there, there. Because what's going to happen if you put glue all around? It's a good chance that you're going to put too much glue if you pass and your card won't slide. So the only thing that you want to do, you want to make sure your card don't slide down. So I'm going to put three glue dot on the side. That's way plenty. Really, two would work. At the bottom, we're going to do about like every three-quarter inch about. So it's, and you want that right at the edge, okay? See? I can even put one here. 
you could use glue. It's just that you don't want too much glue because if you put too much glue, you want uh, your cards going to get won't slide good. Okay. Now we're using the duct tape. Now we're talking. That's going to really make this card pop, right? Here we go. I'm going to put that right here. Now I did from the goal in the back here, I could use some. So I use this is a two inch circle and one and three quarter for my Merry Christmas. And then I just going to put, okay, this is the top. I'm going to put my finger there. I don't want no glue at the top. So just put glue at the bottom. And you could put dimensional, but I don't want too thick because the post office don't like it. Okay. Okay, that looked pretty good, right? But wait for it. How about that? Woohoo! So now we got the lovely, I mean, you could switch that for birthday, right? Easy, easy, done. So you can, um, you can. Oh, card, I don't know. I'm trying to follow it, the, the discussion. I can't. Um, so you could use that for birthday. You can use that for a thank you. Let's say that you get your guy that do your lawn. You want to say give him or, or whatever, a thank you thing and a little gift card to go eat, whatever. Boom. Et voila. Is that beautiful? And it stands very lovely. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I just discovered something. So when you put the gift card there, this won't open because you get this over here, but it's still open enough though. But it don't, it don't flip like this, this, but here, see, let me show you the difference. It still work. Okay. See this one, it all go like an accordion. But this one don't accordion because we get this. But you can, here you can write something. You can write something there. You can decorate that if you want. It's still flip. But that's the difference. But when you stand up, it's still very lovely. And now where was the one with? So the one with the new paper, the Mandarin paper. Uh, mean, what is the word of that again? Man, 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 man. What is it? What is it? I know you guys are typing and you're going to tell me it is. You, you guys are going to type it, but I cannot. For me, it don't sound good. Mean during metal. I never use that word. Okay. So maybe if I would know what it mean in French, mean during metal. I'm going to have to do a Google search on that. And then here's this one. See how lovely it is. So that is it, my friend. Okay, before we go, we have to announce last week was another great, great, great thing. I think I used the oh, 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 holy night paper to do masculine card and then the uh, Christmas card in the brown. See how that is? I absolutely love those cards. Uh, some of you said it's too brown. It's not festive for me. It, it's my cup of tea, okay? Absolutely love it. And then this one, I turn it into Christmas. I mean, in masculine card also, uh, me and the ring, me and the ring, me and the ring. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Catherine. And one wiser, me and the ring, me and the ring, me and the ring. I think I'm going to get it now. See, I'm going to sing it all night. And next week, I'm going to be able to use it and say it. Um, and this one, I use the full, uh, like, uh, designer series paper for the card base. So many of you, all, I mean, you guys collect so much designer series paper. And me, it's like... You bought it, cut it, and use it. It's so pretty, and it's so quick. So the lovely, um, and I said I would put all three cards together. I would do one thing, and all three cards, 
And the winner is Ida Van S C H A L K W Y, and then I get more later, okay? Ida Van Ska. If you're live, go to FrenchyStamps.com. At the top, you get contact me, give me your address, and I'm going to send that to you. You have to claim your card in the next by next week, okay? Because if not, I get too much piled up, and so then I get lost. Okay, so congratulations, Ida. Now, next week, I will have two winners, okay? One going to win this one, and one going to win this one. And I absolutely, I think, thanks, Scott. So it's not too bright. It's very like desert. And I really think, and this is, I did Christmas card too in that. It's very, uh, I think it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Ida, I see you're here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Congrats. So come and send me your address. Okay. So any question for me? Don't you think that just looked like a gift? It's perfect, perfect. When I saw Stephanie share that, I'm like, hmm. I, and I thought to add the gift card over here, okay? And I'm going to tell you why I didn't give, put the gift card there. Or I thought if I put the gift card here. Uh, here it was I would see it a little bit okay it was too much tight now over here it was I couldn't put the strip it was very tight to put that there I could make it happen trust me I could uh, glue a piece of paper and just do a slot slide it in but the easiest place was to put it in the bag there so I think that turned out so lovely so 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 lovely so that's about it, my friend. So I will see you back next week, same time, same place. If you're new to my channel, or even if you're not new and you didn't subscribe yet, please right below there, you get that subscribe button, click on that. So when I go live, you get notified. Um, it don't cost you nothing, right? Just subscribe to that channel. Thank you so much for all of you that support me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.